hello guys welcome to my channel mango tree today i'm going to tell you how you can use an app that is hp smart to print any documents with the hp printer so you can either scan the documents you can print the documents you can email the scanned items so i'll show you here this is the hp so you have to download it from the app store either from apple or from the android mobile from google and once you download it so you can see this icon it says HP smart so just click on that now it says your printer is not available so what you have to do uh, the first thing you need to do is go to the camera setting here and you have to choose the Wi-Fi signal so you have to make sure the your HP printer is on and its Wi-Fi is on and once the Wi-Fi is on then yes that is here it appears here hp print so just click on that and it says connected now you have to go to the app again hp smart and uh, see it comes up here the printer is available it says the name of the printer as well it says the estimated cartridge label in that you can say it says print photos scan to email print documents and the printer settings scan personalize so that is on the home button and here is your folder whatever you are going to scan will be saved here or oh, this is the way you can scan the item so there is a scanner so if you press this one and if you press again it will saying scanning so it scans automatically and I'll show you how you can save in a different folder if you don't want to save in your in the HP app you can store this document uh, in you can copy it you can send to email you can uh, scan it to the iBooks so I'll show you that as well so yeah once scanning is finished it will comes up with the name it says scanning is finished now you can change the name of the document just click on the date and you can type the name anything you want like ABC rename you can see the name is there you can either use the JPEG or you can use it as a PDF let's say PDF file type change now you can you have to share after the processing it will show up here either you can copy you can print you can save to my file or on the top you can see mail so if you click on the mail it will attach the document to the mail you can add to the notes you can whatsapp now if you want to use it for the ibox just cancel it use the jpeg because that only supports the jpeg and now you can see in the options save pdf to ibox and you can use it that even for the icloud photo sharing so that's the way you can do it and thanks for watching my video and please subscribe my channel mango tree thank you